hello everyone welcome to the new video on backup exec and uh, today i'll show you how you can change the properties of the azure storage that we integrated to the backup exec in our last video so from the user interface under the storage you will highlight azure storage and you right click on that go to the details and now we got a wizard in which we can change certain settings so uh, just to refresh, it was the uh, Azure uh, storage that we integrated. It also gives us the name of the server location. The logical storage unit was Gavish one and the login account that we created was Azure. Now let's change certain things over here. For example, the number of concurrent operation that we can run is two by default. So let's make that, let's make it four. The data stream size is 64 KB. So the maximum we can go is one megabyte. So we'll change that stream handler is disabled so we'll also enable that and after these selections are uh, made we'll apply that and it's updating the azure storage the selection or the changes that we have made will not apply until unless we restart the backup exec services so what i'll do i will go to the backup exec logo expand this and under the configuration and setting go to the backup exec services and I'll restart all the services. So it is stopping the services. And uh, after all the services are stopped, it will restart it again. And then all the changes that we have made to the Azure storage will be updated. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.